Hi guys, it's Elena and I'm enchanted to have you be here on my channel. Hello and welcome. I'm glad you're here. This is a little vlog of my trip and my friend's trip to Salem, Massachusetts. I'm showing off my outfit for the day, loving the little corset that I have on. And the day was just beautiful, sunny and gorgeous with clouds beautiful temperature. It was just such a wonderful day to go for a stroll through Salem, to enjoy the scenery, and to do some witchy shopping. Yay! I was super excited. I'm driving to my friend's house there, and I was ready to shop. First, we gotta pick up some snacks before we go. Of course, of course, you can't really have a road trip without snacks. And then we were... You ready for Salem? right here. Delicious. So from my location, it takes about three, three and a half hours to get to Salem. It's so beautiful where we parked and we hit the shops right away. There's so many different little shops and bakery spots and little goodies and things like that. Due to COVID, a lot of the places were closed and it wasn't as packed with people, which was actually pretty much a good thing but we didn't get to really explore everything since a couple of the places were closed but i definitely did do a ton of shopping and places were filled with so many interesting and good books lots of wands and magic working pieces as well as notebooks trinkets beautiful artsy decoration stuff candles and then more candles and incense and notebooks and more altar pieces and then Halloween decorations. And it was just stunning. Hi. <laughs> we walked through the streets a little bit, but we mainly did some shopping during the day before the place is closed. I'm not sure if it was due to COVID and things closing a little bit earlier, but because all the stores were limiting how many people were able to come in, sometimes we had to wait in a line to get into the store. We figured we'd do the shopping first and then do a little bit of scenery and grab some dinner later. But I was just enthralled with all the books and trinkets. It was so much fun to go through, especially this one. Look at it. Look how pretty it is. Look at that green. Oh, I fell in love with it. Stunning. <laughs> Have you ever been to Salem or is there a witchy destination that you're very interested in going? I have tons of little destinations, some in Ireland, some in Iceland, and I just have so many things on my bucket list to travel and to check out and just to feel the different energies and vibrations. Salem was settled in 1626 and what they're most famous for is their Salem Witch Trials which happened in 1692 which ended up having over 200 people accused of being witches and practicing witchcraft and about 20 innocent people were executed. So even though Salem does have history of murder and a lot of unfortunate events, I don't really feel that town to be a very spiritual experience for visiting it. To me it seems a lot more touristy and it really seems like a place to go and do some witchy shopping. I guess it's kind of like a community to me, an open space for witches, pagan practitioners, and it's a great place to find some really good witchy finds. But that's just my experience with Salem. I've only been there twice even though I've lived in Massachusetts. It, it was a lot of fun and it was definitely a fun shopping experience. Now, speaking about shopping, we went into this store. It's called Die With Your Boots On and it had the most wonderful gothic -y and edgy apparel and I was just astounded by the aesthetic of all their outfits and all their clothes, especially a specific pair of shoes. They were these glorious, glorious witchy booties with a pointed toe and a little heel and they were lacing up these right there, right there. 
Oh, and I wanted them so bad, but unfortunately they were way out of my price range. And well, my birthday's in November. And if anybody's interested in making a gift, I would absolutely adore it. <laughs> Anyways, I love all of the crystal shops and metaphysical shops in there. I've met some really interesting shop owners. I love the energies of the shops themselves. A lot of the doorways have sigils written on them. A couple of the shops have little altars that you can put down little wishes or little manifestations in their little jar, that type of thing. Those shops themselves, the people that own them, the people that create the artwork, that I feel is where the experience is at. It's amazing, it's delightful, the energies are awesome, and you can't really find some of these things out and about. A lot of these shops do have online stores, but there's just something about visiting them in person and seeing the handcrafted work. It's just amazing. I know this isn't handcrafted, but look at this shell. Like, it's just so pretty and so cool and so iridescent. Oh my goodness. Salem Village was actually renamed to present day Danvers, and the colonial Salem town is what's now considered Salem or the Salem Witch City. And there are some historians and theorists that claim that no actual witches were burned or harmed during the Salem witch trials. So let me know what you think. What is your perspective on these type of historical events and kind of the mythology behind this area? Okay, so now back to looking at all sorts of wonderful trinkets and books. What is your favorite a physical or witchy or spiritual book put it down in the comments let me know if you recommend for me to read anything specific or anything really interesting i love to read and i'm curious as to what your suggestions are oh now this store the teas there were so many teas and so many different herbs and all sorts of other greeneries but there were so many teas i ended up buying tea yep of course of course Again, because of the whole pandemic situation, there was not a lot of people there at all, which kind of made this vlog a little bit easier to do and kind of give you a tour, little tour, a little bit easier than if there were tons of crowded people. And the fact that people were wearing masks made it a lot easier to edit everything out so that nobody's privacy was compromised. So I guess it's kind of like, a good thing that there weren't too many people but there's also a bad thing since a couple of the spots were closed and we weren't able to kind of explore them and I wasn't able to share them with you but if you are curious about seeing more of it maybe next year I can take another trip and show you anything specific that you're curious about 333 three, three. I'm only half bad now this store this is called the village silversmith <gasps> Oh, the sparklies that they have there, the crystals, the jewels, the gems, the minerals, the bones, the fossils, all of these delightful goodies. My eyes couldn't just soak it all in. There's just so many wonderful and beautiful pieces there that I just kind of wanted to spend my whole entire life savings at the store. It was so tough to just leave with a couple pieces, especially since some of them were so stunning. But a good thing was, we this was one of our last stores that we've been to, so I already had the mindset of, oh my gosh, I already spent so much money. So I, I was able to refrain myself from buying some of these goodies. But look how huge those clusters are compared to my foot! My foot seems so tiny to the giant amethyst chunk. It is beautiful. They were so glittery and so sparkly and the staff was so helpful helping me find what I was looking for. Just look at how big they are. I just can't get over the fact just how tiny my foot is compared to that giant citrine cluster. Ugh, gorgeous. So. 
this is our shopping haul from the day kind of stuffed my backpack and got a couple of bags alongside with and we had dinner we had ramen in a little hole in the wall type of shop and we ate outside the weather was beautiful the food was delicious and the conversation was great my friend was amazing it was such a great visit and it was so delicious. Now, here you go. Enjoy a couple shots of me thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying eating my dinner of delicious ramen noodles. Yummy. What's your favorite food? If you can have anything at all for dinner right now, what would it be? What would be your favorite dish or the dish that you are currently craving right now? Let me know down in the comments because that might even give me some inspiration to my cooking videos that I try to do twice a week, but sometimes schoolwork gets in the way. So, yummy food. I am definitely a foodie. That's why I'm wearing the corset, so I can eat as much as I want and still, you know, not have to worry about sucking in for the camera. <laughs> Afterwards, we walked around and looked at some scenery spots. The cemetery itself was closed for the public. They are doing renovations or some sort of maintenance there. But I guess I got to show it to you from the outside in and just kind of let you feel the energies around it. Now that giant castle looking thing right over there, that is the Salem Witch Museum. Fortunately, I have not had the pleasure of exploring it or visiting it. I'm not sure if it's closed because at the time we weren't there early enough or because of COVID again. And that's definitely on my bucket list to go, but that is a pretty, pretty building. Now, of course, it can't be a YouTuber's vlog if I didn't stop and take some Instagram photos for later. So I'm on my way home driving and I have no gas. Oh my gosh. Um, hopefully there's a gas station soon. I don't know how my car is still driving, but if I get stranded in the middle of the road, oh well. Unfortunately, I didn't get a broom to fly home, but you know, maybe my husband will come and get me. Anyways, I'll, I'll let you know what happens. I made it to the gas station! Woo! Hi guys, it's Elena and I'm... <gasps> I'm exhausted. But I'm enchanted to have you be here on my channel. <laughs> so this is kind of like the after math of, of like the whole montage of pretty things going on and I'm going to kind of show you my haul of witchy things that I got and I'm super super excited for. So I had so much fun even though I live in Massachusetts this is my second time ever being to Salem and I feel like Salem isn't really super a, like a witchy spiritual experience. It's more of like a witchy shopping experience. Um, a lot of the places were closed because of COVID. There was a lot less people, which kind of made things easier. But how, how can I put it? The energies don't really feel like very, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't sense like a lot of natural energies there to me it just seems very touristy but it was still a lot of fun and i got a couple goodies so i'm gonna go through the things that i have and if i remember the store if i have the receipt for the store i'm gonna let you know if not it's gonna be like down on the bottom and stuff like that if you followed my instagram stories i will also link my instagram somewhere in one of the corners i also posted a couple sneak peeks and things um, so I suppose let's start with what's in my little owl bag since that was kind of like the first purchases. And my owl bag broke. This one's so, so cute. And the straps completely came off and I'm super sad. But it's fixable and I'm gonna work on it. And I'm really happy that it broke like towards the end so I didn't have to, you know, carry all this stuff around. But, but, 
Let, let's get into it. All right, this one is, what is it? Oh boy. Ah, this is the first purchase that I did. Uh, I think it's from the place, the store called Salem Dippity. Again, everything will be linked down below for 100% sure. And I got this little dish. I got it mainly for like a candle holder. And I like the little divots here. So it could even be for like incense or something like that. Or maybe even like a sage burner. So I love the colors of it. I love the prettiness of it. And that was one of the things that I got. I'm going to put that aside. My puppy's here chilling with me. She's happy I'm home. And then I also got this little ornament. Oh boy. From the same store. So I got this little tree. And it, it's super, super, super pretty. I am just stunned by the detail. I love it. It's gorgeous. Very gorgeous. And it's a Salem mess. And all sorts of things. So it's so, so pretty. Okay, so that is the first purchase that I did of the day. And then, um, oh, this is, I believe, maybe the second purchase or something around that. But it started off with like this, and then it went to like that bag, and then that bag, and just kind of like stuffed things in there. And this is a necklace. It's from the Moonstone and it's handcrafted jewelry and it is so pretty. I do believe it's custom, custom, costume jewelry, but it's just stunning. Oh, look how pretty it is and it's green and it's sparkly and it is just beautiful, beautiful green color. I might even put it on now. Can I put it on now? Let me give it a try. Hey, oh, I love this. Oh, I like the length of it and everything. Very, very pretty. Really like this necklace. Okay, on to next things. I got a ton of stuff because I don't go there very often. Um, well, this is kind of towards the end of the day, but I got teas and then I got tea bags. So I have pen pals and I like to share teas with them and stuff. I got a chocolate oh, chocolate mint and it smells oh if you're in the United States and you've ever had Girl Scout cookies those thin mints this is what it smells like I don't remember the name of the store that I got it from again it'll be linked down below because I'm gonna be going through these videos and stuff but Oh, it smells like chocolate, mint chocolate, deliciousness. All right, then I got honey bush. And this reminds me of almost like rose hips, but sweeter. So I've never had this tea before or experienced this smell before. It's like, how, how do I describe it? Almost like a strawberry honeydew melon, but like very light. Oh, it smells so, so, so good. And I got one more tea. And this one is Winter Palace Marzipan. And to me, this smells like those like almond sugar cookies. Oh, so, so, so delicious. And I'm super, oh, so super excited to try these. Now, alongside with the teas, I got this mug. Now it's kind of like out of thing, but it's such a good flow to go from teas to this mug. And oh, it's just, my friend actually saw it and pointed it out to me and it's just the cutest thing in the world. This is from so, Bewitched, from the store Bewitched. That type of stuff. And it is a perfect brew. Oh, it's so, so cute. It's so cute. I can't get over how cute it is. 
I am so excited to make tea in this cup. Ah! Look at it! It has a little spoon and a little holder for a little spoon. It's, it's just perfect. Front and back. Oh, it has a good handle and everything. It is, it is a perfect, perfect cup. Oh, and the spoon has a little kitty on there. I am quite happy and content. I'm gonna have some tea and then go to bed because right now it's like 11 o'clock. I've been up since, actually, I've been driving on the road since like 10 o'clock. Yeah, yeah. I've been go, go, go for like the past 12 hours and ah, I'm just excited. I'm excited. All right, I'm gonna save that bit. and toss that aside. There's a couple more goodies in here, then we'll move on to the other stuff. This is, oh, so my friend was the one that drove, so I drove to her house and then we drove to Salem. So she's been there quite often and she had these like chinkly like little chimes on her rear view mirror hanging and they were just so stunning and I kept complimenting them. And guess what? I found them, so now we're gonna be kind of twinsies. She has this type of charm and then that I'm getting, it's like a sun and moon. Oh, it's so pretty and it has like really good weight to it. I love the details of it. I love its little charms. And it has, it has like a little chinkle but like it's like metally. Here is, here is the main one. And this is from the Witch Way gift store. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Let me open it. You hear it already? I'm gonna open it completely so you get the full excitement of the noise. Uh, give me a moment. So I got the moon and star one and she has the black cat. So we're kind of twinsing, but not too bad. Alright, you gonna open for me or what? There we go. Okay. Ah! There we go. I love this like chimey, chinkly noise. Can you hear it? It is a beautiful noise and it is a beautiful little charm and I'm super excited to put it in my rear view mirror. Love it. Do you approve? You approve? Okay, good. All right, I think that might be it for my backpack. Yes, so that's done. I'm just gonna toss that over there. The next store, I got a couple books stuff. Um, was that it? Oh. So I got books, uh, oracle cards, wind chimes, does it say? No, it doesn't say which store they're from. Again, I'll have it linked down below. Oh, it's from the Pyramid Salem, I think. They have their own hand sanitizer with a little amethyst crystal and it just smells so amazing. I had to, I had to grab it. Ah, it smells of like incense and cinnamon and Ooh, deliciousness. So, hand sanitizer, be nice and, you know, clean. <laughs> and then I got Reading the Leaves, An Intuitive Guide to the Ancient Art by Sandra Maria Wright and Leanne Mariana. Little booklet, all about tea leaf divination. And then I got a Witch's Spell a Day Almanac for 2021 and it's filled with tons of interesting information and tons of like delightful little goodies. So that's that, and this is by Llewellyn's? Llewellyn's? Uh, Llewellyn's. Llewellyn's? Llewellyn's? 
Koala. It's, it's, the name will be down below. <laughs> but I got that little almanac, and then I got the White Light Oracle Oracle cards. Now I've never, ever, ever held Oracle cards in my hand before. I know I've been a witch for so long, but usually tarot cards and pendulum is my divination tool. But these were just calling my name and they are stunning. The artwork of them is just stunning, stunning, stunning. So there's that and I think it has a little booklet with it. Yeah, oh good. <clears throat> It has a little booklet with them with information for me to learn how to use the oracle cards because I'm still learning with everything. But let me just show you a couple of these images. Oh, they are just stunning. Oh, these are big cards. This is the, what the back of them looks like. It is a beautiful, beautiful wolf. Oh, let me see how the lighting is going to go. Lighting gonna cooperate from which which area? Right here? Right here seems to be good. This beautiful wolf, and on this side it's the magnetism of arrows. Lighting seems decent. Yeah. Beautiful. And then we have Cupio de Salvi. Oh, that might be a little bit too bright. If it doesn't work out, I'll, I'll post it in a different way. Oh, they're just beautiful. Such, such stunning cards. I'm like mesmerized. This is the first time I opened them as you saw me open the package and I just want to go through them. Like their energy feels so great. Queen of Nagas or Queen of Snakes. Beautiful. I, I can like go through the whole entire deck of them. Oh, they're just absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So I'm super excited for trying out these things. If anybody has tips for oracle cards, let me know. But they're just so beautiful. And I just, I had to have them. <laughs> Uh, this is the other thing that I got from that store, and these are wind chimes that I'm looking to place on the window right next to my altar, and it's, oh, I love this noise, look how pretty. They just make me so happy. It is beautiful. Oh, so pretty. I can listen to this all day. Love this noise. Okay, moving on. I have a small pile on the bed. What other things did I get? Oh, I got masks. Got a mask for my hubby. Little tooth things. And then I got a mask for myself. Which has the cute little woo-woo thing on there. And then I also got, what is this? From Artemis. Oh, Artemis Botanicals is where I got the teas from. Yep, yeah, this, this bag is empty. This was just where the teas were in. Uh, that's from the mask, from the mask. Ooh, I got this very, very pretty stone. Let me try to open the tape. This beautiful stone, and it's a hematoid. Oh. So it has like hematite inside of quartz, I believe. That's what she explained. Hopefully you can see it somewhere here. Maybe. <clears throat> but it is a pretty, pretty rock. And 
alongside with this, I got this gorgeous, gorgeous like slab of petrified wood. This is empty, which should be in here. This, this is my pride and joy. I've been looking for a petrified wood for a very long time and I just wasn't feeling the things that I've seen before. They were either too big or too expensive or just not, not very visually appealing. But this one, ah, oh come on, open, 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 please. Don't, don't get me struggling. <laughs> it won't open. There we go. Oh, look at this. This is such a beautiful specimen of petrified wood. Oh, it's just stunning. Let me take this off hopefully. Oh, it's not gonna come off easy. Let me show you this side. It is such a pretty piece. This is a big piece. It's almost the size of my whole entire palm. Oh, I, I, I'm just so excited for it. I mean, it, it's like, Tree plus rock. How much better can it get? Ah! Okay, so I'm like superbly excited about this. I have been looking for a nice piece of petrified wood, and boom, I have it. Yay! All right, on to ah, this is from the Cauldron Black little shop and this was from oh man hold on it's this village silversmith so the stones were from village silversmith all right if you ever go into this store either bring a good amount of money so you can get whatever you want or don't walk in at all because their collection of crystals and fossils and bones and and all of these beautiful minerals is just mind-blowing and stunning and I just want to get the whole entire thing. They have amethyst like this big <laughs> like huge huge amethyst geos just oh, amazing. Okay these are from the Cauldron Black Shop. I think this is the last of everything. Yeah, this one's empty. And yeah, this is also from the Cauldron Black. I got a Rose of Jericho. This very, very nice piece right here. I've never held or touched the Rose of Jericho. It smells very nice. It reminds me of the woods, like pine and earth and dirt, but not like one individual smell, like kind of a combination of all of the smells. It is a very delicious smell, it's very nice. It is beautiful. It is chunky and I'm very excited to work with it. So I'm gonna gently place that here. And I also got some Palo Santo incense sticks. Nice, good, chunky sizes. And they, ah, they just smell so good. All right, so this is my haul for my little trip. All these wonderful and delightful goodies. And um, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, the whole shebang, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>